Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Tech Qualities where we will be exploring the motherboard replacement on a Dell Latitude 5510. Thanks for joining us, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Alright, uh, first thing we're going to do is remove all the screws off the bottom cover. Use a plastic spudger tool to carefully pry around the edges of the bottom cover to remove it. Disconnect the battery. Remove the single screw to the right. Carefully remove the battery. Remove your Wi-Fi card. Try to keep the Wi-Fi antennas intact. This will save you time later. As you pry up the Wi-Fi card and remove it, just leave it in place. Remove the two screws securing the SSD. Remove the SSD card. Remove all the M2 screws securing the inner frame assembly. Take note that some of these screws are 4mm length and some are 3mm. The 3mm usually grow across the lower section of the inner frame assembly. Remove your speaker connector. Remove the inner frame assembly, anchor it up over the top of the laptop. Disconnect the fan power connector. Remove all ribbon cables. Remove the memory module. Now remove all of the anchor screws securing the motherboard. Remove the screws securing the EDP video connector. Carefully disconnect the EDP cables. Remove the screws securing the heatsink assembly. Remove the screws securing the fan. Remove the two screws and the bracket on the right side. Remove your DC jack. Remove your SIM card adapter. Carefully remove the motherboard. Use an alcoholic wipe to remove the thermal grease from the heatsink.
install the new motherboard. Usually the ports on the right need to go in first. Assure that all the screw holes align to the palm rest. Replace all the motherboard anchor screws. Replace the DC jack. Replace the right side bracket and screws. Replace the last motherboard anchor screw to the left side of the CPU. Replace both ribbon cables. Replace the SIM card adapter. Replace EDP cable connectors. Be patient with the smaller connectors. Sometimes it takes a while to get them lined up just properly. Replace the bracket covering the EDP video cable connector. Apply thermal grease to the processor. Do not apply too much thermal grease. Replace the heatsink fan assembly. Make sure to use the numbering guide to put the screws in order. Replace the two screws on your fan. Reconnect the fan power cable. Reinstall the inner frame assembly. Remember that all the screws that go back in place, the three millimeter screws are usually along the bottom side of the frame, where the four millimeter screws are along the upper side of the frame. Reroute the speaker cable through the inner frame assembly and plug it back into the motherboard. Remember, most of these plugs have a dot on the upper side of the plug, so you know which way it plugs in. Replace the M.2 SSD drive. Replace the two screws.
Reconnect your Wi-Fi card. Remember to try to keep those antennas plugged in. It'll save you time. If one of them does become disconnected, you can use needle nose pliers or tweezers to reconnect them. Reinstall your memory and dim slot A. Reinstall the battery, secure the right side screw, and connect the battery to the motherboard. Double check all your connections to make sure you didn't forget anything. Replace the bottom cover and tighten all screws. Thanks for watching again, guys. Please join us again and remember to click subscribe, comment, and like on this video. We'll see you next time.